The first of the Royal Navy's new general-purpose warships was today revealed to the world. This morning, the first of the Type 31 frigates to be built for the Royal Navy emerged from the Venturer building at Babcock's shipyard in Rosyth. The ship is the first of five Type 31 frigates being built for the Royal Navy, part of a £10 billion investment in the fleet of tomorrow to replace the existing Type 23 flotilla. As the first of the Royal Navy's Inspiration-class frigates emerges into the limelight, the scale and opportunities provided by this ship are increasingly apparent, the ships are 60% larger than the frigates they replace, but with 60% of the crew, around 120 compared with 180 to 200. After three years construction in a cavernous assembly hall in Rosyth, Fife, the 28-meter-tall doors were opened and HMS Venturer began to emerge. This represents another sign of progress in the Royal Navy's recapitalization of its frigate force, following the formal naming ceremony of HMS Glasgow held last week. The space vacated by Venturer will be filled by HMS Formidable, the third ship in the program. The aptly named Venturer Assembly Hall is large enough to allow two Type 31 to be built side by side, with HMS Active already making good progress. The team at Babcock have done as much as they can indoors, so today they began preparing the 5,700-ton vessel for her debut in the water by moving her outside using specially designed transport cradles. It took nearly 12 hours to edge the 139M hull of the Inspiration-class vessel all five ships are named after predecessors whose deeds resound down the decades out of the hull and onto the neighboring hard standing. Later this summer she will be lowered on a special barge and floated off into the dock at Rosyth to begin the installation and testing of systems, sensors, and weapons. First steel for Venturer was cut in September 2021 and the keel was laid in April 2022. The structurally complete vessel was rolled onto the hard standing and later in the day onto the barge that will lower into the water. The Malin Augustia semi-submersible barge CD-01 arrived in Rosyth in September for this purpose after being used to launch HMS Cardiff on the Clyde and is already aligned with the quay ready to receive the ship. The barge will lower the ship slowly into the water before she is transported the short distance across the basin for fitting out in number 3 dry dock where masts, weapons and sensors will be added. Babcock say they expect to hand the ship over to the Royal Navy in about a year. Venturer has already been fitted out internally to a fairly advanced stage, for reasons of efficiency, the rollout was delayed to allow more internal work to be done under cover than originally planned. Babcock will partner with Thales UK on the integration work which will now begin in earnest as the ship is equipped with sensors and weaponry. Combat system integration has already been de-risked as far as possible using an ashore test facility. When first announced in 2015, the first Type 31 was supposed to be in service by 2023 an overly ambitious target that few believed in at the time. With COVID impacting every industrial enterprise and inevitable slippage in the tight schedule, this target was subsequently revised in 2020 to be the first ship in the water in 2023, and fully in service by 2027. The program is now approximately 15 months behind schedule, but there may be opportunities to make up time and get HMS Venturer into service by 2027 to 2028. Babcock says it is still expecting to get all five ships in service by 2030, indicating confidence in the ability to deliver the subsequent vessels much faster. Work on Ship 3 will will begin in haul within 24 hours of HMS Venturer's rollout. The Type 31 was originally supposed to be built to an extremely taut budget of £250 million per ship, not including government-furnished equipment, which includes some of the weapons and sensors. The Type 31 was an attempt to break the cycle of ever-increasing cost and delay in procurement, as well as create a credible UK warship design for export. Despite the move to the right and cost rises, these objectives are being met to some extent. From a standing start, Babcock always had a major challenge on their hands but made significant investments and achieved considerable progress. The original perception that Type 31 was just a glorified OPV has dissipated amongst informed observers, and the wisdom of building a large adaptable platform has been vindicated. The pandemic and subsequent spikes in inflation have meant that Babcock has lost around £90 million on the Type 31 program, even after a contract modification agreed with the Ministry of Defense. Some of this is being clawed back with export orders, and there are real prospects of additional derivatives to be built in the UK and overseas. Chief Executive of Babcock Marine, Sir Nick Hine, said he has told his exports team to aim for 31 by 31, 
i.e. building on the 10 already secured 5 for Royal Navy, 2 for Indonesia and 3 for Poland to have 31 Type 31 Arrowhead 140 derivatives built or on order worldwide by 2031. The Ministry of Defense has awarded Babcock a £65 million 5-ship contract to deliver the capability insertion period CIP for the Type 31 frigates. This covers equipment to be fitted, over and above what was specified in the original fixed-price contract and will eventually see the ships equipped with MK-41 VLS. Type 31 frigate HMS Venturer emerged from Babcock's facility at Rosyth in Fife on Tuesday. It marks the transition from the construction phase into final preparations for the ship's entry into the water, which will take place in the coming weeks. The first of five warships for the Royal Navy has been rolled out of the shipbuilding hall and a pivotal milestone for the project. After hundreds of thousands of hours put in by sailors and shipwrights, engineers, welders, electricians, naval architects and many more 1,400 people on site, almost as many across the UK and support venturers senior naval officer commander Chris Cousins says emerging from the ship hall is a key moment in the life of his ship and the wider Type 31 program. The ship's company have seen Venturer grow from the keel up inside the build hall, but this is the first time Babcock and the Royal Navy have been able to unveil this next-generation frigate to the public, this moment is taking the ship another step closer to where it is needed, contributing the UK's security and prosperity. Hailing the rollout as a proud moment for everyone involved in the Type 31 project, Babcock CEO David Lockwood said, it reflects the hard work, dedication and exceptional skills of our workforce here in Rosyth. We set our sights across generations and these frigates are built with flexibility and through life support in mind and will provide a highly capable platform for our brave service personnel wherever they serve in the world, for decades to come. For the ship's company, the growing maturity of the build grows our own understanding and encourages us to exploit new and innovate ways to crew and operate the platform. We have a keen desire to make this a ship that sailors want to serve in.